When you're trying to build a career, networking and promoting yourself, it all seems like a big deal. People who promote themselves too much come off as big jerks. You have to tell people who you are so they'll buy your art or somehow support you in your artistic endeavors. Because if they don't know who you are, they can't help you. That is crazy and terrifying. Why do we have to do all this stuff? Coloring cream. With cream. Pulls out his phone like, hey, check out what I've been doing lately. And you're like, oh my god. No, it's okay. I'm not an aggressive person. And promoting myself face to face, just talking with a person, that is up there on my list of scary things right after talking to strangers. I don't know how to deal with it. Like, how do you tell people about your artwork without being a jerk? Like, how do you tell them, I'm really excited about this project I'm working on. And I want you to know because I'm so excited about it. Can I just say that to people? Because I, in my mind, like, the experience of me saying that to people is kind of like I'm being that guy that talks about himself all the time and doesn't care about other people because he's just, like, he thinks he's so great. But you Dude, know what? Rain is that great. You're edit. wearing on your eyes. eyes. I saw his video. Let it go. Yeah. So, like, like, honestly, God, that that's 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 I guess you could get a PR person. I mean, you couldn't pay them anything, but... If you have a friend who's really good at talking about you, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. To just, like, be like... <laughs> Talk about me more. Like, they probably already do, you know, and exactly. you just don't know about it. So you just have to like check in on your friends who are like good at telling stories or good speakers and like see what, you know, if they're talking about. You. Yeah. And yeah. then, you know, make them. I've never had a website just because they make me so nervous. Like, I feel like once you have a website, it's a commitment to that thing that you made representing you. And. Usually I'll make something and then, you know, a few months later I'll be like, Ooh. I made all of these flyers for this opening that I had and they were really, f I just like found some old collages and like made millions of Xeroxes of them and just like scribbled all over them like this is what it is come see my show and I biked all over and just stuck them up and I like went into stores and liquor stores and like drug just kind of handing them out and it was really fun why not just make some random flyers like Arcadia Heart Tongue makes art or like you know just like random flyers that don't even say anything just like has an image of something that I made I mean that's promoting yourself and you don't have to talk to anybody unless someone walks up to you and asks you what you're doing. I find that like humor or like kind of self-deprecation or just kind of making a joke of it is like one way to do it. Like, hey, look at this stupid piece of shit I made. Like, haha, wouldn't it be hilarious if you bought it? Now a lot of people do that through just like maintaining like a very regular online presence, like tweeting or Facebook or whatever and promoting yourself even when you're not really promoting anything. <laughs> the main thing is being like consistent with with your brand, singling out the things that seem to be the most popular, like the most what people like about your brand the most and like exploiting those. If you're doing something that you feel passionate and excited about, then it won't be hard to talk about it. Uh -huh. And it won't feel awkward to talk about it. It'll feel natural. And it does help also to go back to the friends thing if like the people in your life are actually interested in what you're doing mm -hmm. and it gives you that feeling that this is okay to talk about and I'm not sort of mm -hmm. like name dropping or trying to talk about me at inappropriate times or whatever, the sort of you know, negative feelings about networking that exist. But I would agree that I didn't, you know, I didn't know that you were working on that many awesome things and they're pretty awesome. I mean, I guess part of it is like investing in promotion too. Um, like having postcards or those moo cards or things like that. So that when people are like, Oh, what is it? Be like, here, here's a little thing, but that costs money, you know, so you have to have something to do it. Feeling authentic when that's something that you have to do is, I think will always be a struggle <clears throat> if you want to be an authentic person. So. But you have to do it. Yeah.
So like, because I, I just wrote this book, and hey, look, I'm self-promoting, but I'm not self, I'm not being a dick, because I, yeah, blah. Um, I just wrote this book, and my publisher keeps on wanting me to like push it, push it, push it, push it, but it's like weird, because the book is sort of like predicated on dumpster diving, and like anti-capital, like the whole thing was started with like anti-capitalist rhetoric, so how can I be like, oh yeah, so I did this thing, and then I got a book deal, and uh, buy my book, woo! I'm not great at it either, and it's a lifelong struggle for me. Um, you know, you get rejections when you send out work and it kind of sends you into a little tailspin. I do believe at the core, there has to be a certain persistence, a kind of almost stubbornness, I guess, that what you're doing is relevant and that other people will be interested in it. And, um, you know, I don't always feel that way. I think there's a difference between like being a career artist and then just being an artist. Like there's like lots of people who I guess are not acclaimed, self-acclaimed artists that like make things and are artists and think in, in their own way. And they don't really show or like make things to exhibit, they just make it. And so then if you are intending on being a career artist then it's more of like a the exhibiting and making the effort to show yourself is more of like a, a job than a part of the artist. Being an artist sucks. It really does. Anyone who tells you differently is lying. Sometimes I even think about s s how many great artists there must be out there who just uh, aren't made up the way that the superstars are, you know?